Okay, good people. Um, the last technique that I want to speak about is uh, the color graph. Uh, and in this technique, it is where we create impressions of uh, the different textures that could be gained from uh, a variety of uh, materials or objects. Uh, and in front of me here, I have such examples uh, that you could possibly play with um, in creating um, interesting color graphs, uh, that is impressions of um, the textures of these uh, materials and objects. And so it is um, a variety that you can play with. For instance, I have with me here um, a card box. Um, and this is such an interesting material because you can always gain very good effects with the ribs um, of your everyday use uh, card box uh, or cardboard um, uh, that can create very interesting uh, impressions uh, and visuality on the surface. Now, foil as well, it's a material that you can, uh, you know, crinkle, uh, crunch and uh, create those interesting folds um, of their own quality. Uh, we have, um, you know, you can play around with um, even materials like this where you can just, um, you know, create an interesting shape on the surface and then, you know, imprint on, on, that, um, on that object to pick up on the interesting um, qualities and visuality of that. Uh, so is um, bubble wrap, a very versatile medium in art making that uh, we play with. Uh, I mean, children enjoy this. So this is uh, such a lovely medium to work with because, um, you know, it also has its own quality and the organicness of uh, bubble wrap is different from the organicness or maybe uh, from the structural, um, you know, sensibility of card box. Um, and so it's string that you can also just create an interesting mess patterns with. But, um, you know, everyday use objects, good people, we can explore this and use this um, to encourage even children to play around with. Now, what we are now going to do is to move on to show how this can be used or this technique um, goes about. So I have here with me an already prepared surface um, which has some of these uh, materials that we have just uh, spoken about uh, which now uh, I am going to um, use in order to create a color graph. And so what I'm going to do is uh, to um, apply the ink onto the surface and then we'll take a piece of paper that I'm going to put onto the surface in order to get the impressions of these various uh, materials that are embedded on the surface. Uh, there will be different qualities that come out of this. And from this, uh, you can ink the surface once and get a number of prints made from this. The, quality will, the qualities of those prints will differ and that will be the essence and the interesting um, or the interest of each art piece um, that is created from this surface. So let's just see, let's get down to it and see how um, it goes. Right, um, where is that roller of mine? Okay, um, at this point I am going to be, okay. It is always important to remember to shake the bottle before you drink. So I'm going to shake my ink again in order to get it mixed. Um, and then I am going to now um, apply it on the surface. All right, uh, printmaking is quite <laughs> a messy technique, good people. So always make sure that um, you are aware of the cleanliness of your hands. Um, 
it is a one technique or one art making uh, method that requires um, that requires you as an artist to to be as meticulous as possible including the cleanliness because um, yeah now I have my surface inked and what I'm going to do is uh, to try and get an impression of uh, the textures and the qualities that we have from this surface. So I'm going to place uh, the paper on the surface. Um, ordinarily, I would use a roller in order to press hard on the paper to try and get um, as best um, qualities and imprints of what is underneath as possible or what is on the surface as possible. Now, uh, you do not necessarily have to have a roller in order to be able to um, do these uh, techniques or art making techniques. What I'm going to do is to improvise here. I have this flat surface that I'm going to press hard on my paper in order to try and pick up as much as I can. You can even go to the extent of um, helping yourself to you know, exact, exact um, the different uh, amount of pressure in any possible way. So, yes, there we are. Let's see how um, our, artworks, uh, our artwork looks like. Voila, there we go. Lovely imprint there. And we can see we have gotten um, as much as we can. You're getting the imprints of, um, of the materials themselves uh, and uh, the qualities that they come with, which is quite nice. It's something that uh, you want to play with. You enjoy getting that. So, yes, um, enjoy making art with people. Did I get that? <laughs> yeah.